Here we are discussing question number 13. So this is basic question, but interviewer may ask you, what are the phases of the clinical trial? Explain the phases of the clinical trials. As a CDM, you need to have in-depth knowledge on the phases of the clinical trials, including objectives. Usually clinical trials are conducted in phases. Each phase is designed to answer certain question. Knowing the phase of the clinical trial is important. Phase zero, it will start with. Clinical trial will start with phase zero, exploring if and how a new drug can work. The purpose of this phase is to help speed up the drug approval process. Phase zero studies may help the researcher find out if the drug, drugs do what they're expected to do. So these studies use only very few and small doses of the new drug. It will be experimented in few people. People in phase zero will not be benefited. So these are called micro dosing studies. So why are we calling it as micro dosing? We, we give them very small dose of the drug and which is administered to very small group of subjects. Moreover, subjects are not going to be benefited. So we'll check whether the new drug, how the new drug may work. So phase one, after phase zero, we'll start with phase one clinical trials. Is the treatment safe? Phase one clinical trial will be done to answer the question, is the treatment safe? So phase one studies of new drug are usually the first the invo that involve people. So they are, to, they are to find highest dose of the new treatment, safest dose of the new treatment that can be safely without causing any side effects. These studies will help you to decide how the new treatment should be administered, means route of administration of the new treatment. So phase one, we mainly focus on the safety, how drug is going to act on the human body, means pharmacokinetics, and how the new treatment is going to be administered to the subjects, means a route of administration. So this will decide the safe dose, study the kinetics, and decide the route of administration. So in overall, we'll see the drug is safe. Phase two clinical trials, once the phase one clinical trials are successful, then we'll go with the phase two clinical trials. Phase two, does the treatment work? That means we focus on the efficacy here. If the new treatment is found to be safe in phase one, then phase two clinical trials will be done to see how it works against the disease, whether it is going to work on the particular disease. So phase two trials are called therapeutic trials. Phase one trials are called non-therapeutic trials. Then after phase two, we'll do phase three. So here we'll answer the question, is it better than what is already there available in the market? That means comparative studies. Comparative studies. So we'll see whether the new treatment is better than the marketed treatment, standard treatment. 
which is already available in the market, which is most widely accepted drug in the market. So treatments that have been shown to work in phase two clinical trials must succeed in one more phase before they are approved for the general use. So phase three clinical trials compare safety and efficacy of the new treatment against the current treatment, current standard treatment. So you can explain all the four phases of the clinical trial. If not phase zero, you need to be able to explain phase one, two, three. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video.